I was headed home for Thanksgiving break with just that on my heart. Just, you know, you got to do something. God just wrecked my life. And, um, I was headed down the interstate at 1.30 in the morning because I'd been stuck in some traffic in Baton Rouge and um, realized I, I was in the center median. I, my wheel was just cranking and jerking and I'm like, Mo, snap out of it and try to pull my car back on the interstate. I'm just disoriented to what's going on. I shoot straight across the interstate, hit an embankment, flip my Jeep three times and landed upside down in a ravine oh. at 1.30 in the morning, completely alone and completely physically broken. Um, I was hanging upside down by my seatbelt, choking on blood. I remember when I woke up and, um, it was this moment people hear the story and they're like, good grief, another piece of adversity like this. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, but mind you, my prayer had been, God, if you're so real, do something. And it was hanging upside down in that car at one thirty in the morning, completely alone completely physically broken. Mind you, I had been emotionally broken one year prior. And now I just hung there really at the end of myself in so many ways. And I had never felt from that moment, I get goosebumps now. Maybe we should have video Skyped this. So you could, <laughs> I was, I was never felt more overwhelmed and almost crushed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. It just flooded into my vehicle and God met me in that place in such an overwhelming, unfathomable way and just said, be still and know that I am God. You have a choice to make. I love you. I am with you. I am for you. That the enemy will wage battles. You must trust that I have won the war. I am using all for my glory. You have been died for. I mean, it was like the depths of the gospel were just instantaneously downloaded into my heart. Things I'd never heard in church before. Things deep like theological understanding. I had never been taught. It was just immediate, uh, like Paul on the road to Damascus, just God dropping me in that moment and revealing himself in all of his glory to me and then saying to me, now choose. Do you continue to allow the haphazard winds of life to hopefully blow your broken pieces back together? Or will you trust me as the master artist, the designer of your soul, the one who knit you together in your mother's womb? Will you trust me to rebuild you into a new creation? And will you give your life to me to use it from this point forward? And it was radical. I mean, it was just, there's, there's all that's the, happening in the car or, or car, right around that time. Down, hanging oh upside my, down in the car. My goodness. It was like, it was literally like the scales were just fell from my eyes. It was, it was unfathomable. I mean, I think sometimes we think we have to, you know, and, and granted, these are beneficial, but we think we have to go through weeks of study or the gospel has to pre be presented to us just right. Or we need to, you know, understand all of these deep things about the word of God before we can take a step to accept it. No, all it takes from God is a whisper. Mm. It takes a moment for him to encounter us. Um, when we ask him to God, reveal yourself to me. And, and I can almost guarantee he will respond. Now I'm not saying he, he'll throw your vehicle off the road <laughs> at one in the morning on the interstate, but he, he may, you know, he may wreck something in your life to open your eyes to him and to reveal the magnitude of his glory to you. Mm -hmm. And I'll say right now that wreck was brutal and the injuries were brutal, but I was brought from death to life in that car. Mm 